Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is the winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jongkar, Paro and Thimpu, Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Choden Songkang in Mongar, Tsering Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutron. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season. and welcome to a special episode of Do You Know Your Child in celebration of our National Day. I'm Chuni Selden, your host. A parent must remember that your child will not remain young forever, which means you should make the most out of your child's growing years. A parent should be able to provide his child with a safe childhood. Parents should be able to commit to spending time with their children if they would like to be given time by their children when they're old. So treat your child with respect and love, just the way you would want to be treated by your child when the table turns around. Let's get an update from our last week's participants. Last week, I had committed that I should not underestimate him and I should trust him more. He ma yi chi nang lu ap chi dang am chi bu chi dang be kung pa pe sum de nu. Last week, I commented that I should play less video games and eat less junk food. On 11th November 1955, many strange and wonderful things happened in our country. Loving a child correctly means making it a point to feed your child healthy food right from a young age and not only food that your child enjoys eating. Give them fruits instead of chips and pizza. If your children eat healthy food right from a young age, then it's likely that the habit will continue into adulthood. Food habits developed at a young age often stays on till later in life. If children get used to eating nutritious and healthy food, they are more likely to eat well as adults too. Let's meet today's family. Heavy stones to prevent them from being blown off by strong winds. The destiny of our country lies in the hands of our younger generations. My daughter and uh, myself will be coming for the show. Welcome to Do You Know Your Child? Uh, my first question, do you know your child? Uh, I would say I know. Okay, all right. So um, tell me about your family. Who's in it? Where do you live? And um, just how does your family function? Uh, my name is Nathan. Uh, uh, I'm working in RICV, uh, branch office, Punaka. And uh, my wife is working as a teacher in Kurutang Middle Secondary School. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, two children, uh, one uh, son and one daughter. Okay. So who's the eldest? Uh, son. Son, all yes. right. What about their classes? Uh, my uh, son, uh, he, reads, uh, he studies in class 10 mm -hmm. and my daughter in 5. They've just finished their exams? Uh, yes. Yeah. Were you able to help them with their exams? Yes, yes. Uh, especially uh, for my uh, elder brother, mm -hmm. I mean, elder son. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to uh, 
without my guidance, uh, it will be difficult for him, mm -hmm. uh, especially because uh, uh, we, uh, he needs to, uh, a last, last minute guidance. Mm -hmm, I see. So uh, I have been uh, guiding him. Uh, what about your wife? Does she help with uh, your kids' education, uh, especially with exams? Because a lot of the parents, uh, they are busy to get involved doing uh, when their kids are doing their homework right. or project works. Right. But definitely with exams, parents are hands-on right. during exam time. So uh, what about your wife? Was she able to help? Well, uh, although she's quite busy uh, since she's a teacher mm -hmm. and then she needs to prepare what uh, she needs to be uh, taught tomorrow. So she, uh, she's quite busy, but uh, she's a backbone of... Uh, our family, and, you know, I mean, the whatever, I mean, guidance, uh, she used to do everything for, mm -hmm. for the children. I see. And especially the teaching, I mean, the readings, and then how to study. I see. And then also the other uh, uh, help uh, mm -hmm. that is necessary for the children, since uh, she's a trained teacher. Yeah, yeah. So I don't face any difficulties in guiding my yeah. children. You're lucky you have yeah. a teacher at home. Yeah. <laughs> so what made you decide that uh, you'd want to come to Do You Know Your Child? Firstly, it is the passion of my uh, daughter. Uh -huh. uh, she would, uh, I mean, she, she has been watching this uh, program and she would like to join this program yeah. uh, from the very, I mean, I think it's almost uh, one, year, one year back. Oh, okay. But we are not able to find the time and then couldn't come. Yeah. And it is uh, because, how, because of her effort that uh, I'm here. Okay. In fact, uh, I should be encouraging, encouraging <laughs> but uh, because of the lack of time, we couldn't do it. Yeah, but sometimes it's the kids who comes up with brilliant ideas. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad you were able to bring her here even after, uh, right after her exam. Thank you. So uh, that's good. Now, um, normally I have 10 questions with me, right. but because it's a special episode, I have 13 questions, right, right. eight of which would be about your uh, daughter, right. and then five of the 13 questions would be about the National Day. Right. And don't worry, it'll be very easy questions, so you, because we are keeping, we're asking these questions to your daughter too, so right. it'll be very easy peasy questions. So are you ready? La? Yes. Question number one, what is your daughter's favorite color? She loves the nature, so basically uh, her color will be uh, green. Oh, okay. Yeah. Number two. Do you guys go out and eat in restaurants? Uh, sometimes. sometimes. Uh, Is there a favorite place that she normally wants to go to? Uh, yes, uh, she normally likes to go uh, uh, riverside and uh, in the open area and, oh. uh, you know, I want to have, uh, I mean, the, a picnic yeah, type. Picnic type. Okay. If I said, what is your favorite restaurant? Is there a particular hotel or a restaurant that she likes to go eat at? Kingo Hotel in Punaka. Okay. Uh, where, uh, uh, she, I mean, she enjoys uh, having this uh, uh, chick chicken. Okay. Yeah, and then I used to take her uh, to that uh, restaurant. And she enjoys it. Yeah. Number three, which is her favorite animal? Puppies okay. and kittens. Okay, all right. I believe uh, puppy could be her favorite. Uh, favorite, yeah. okay. All right. Four, her favorite TV show. I think, do you know that Charlie is her favorite oh, TV show? Oh, that's really She sweet. really, I mean, she, don't, uh, she doesn't meet, uh, miss this show. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's very sweet. Yeah. She does watch uh, the cartoon also. Would uh, you remember the name of the show? Tom and Jerry also. Tom and Jerry, yeah. okay, yeah. all right. And uh, Bobby. Yeah. All right, number five. What would you tell your daughter if she makes a mistake? Let's say she ended up with an... In an argument with her best right, friend right. and she said some mean words right. so that is her mistake in, yeah. in this uh, example what is your reaction yeah. uh, immediate reaction would be sometimes we feel i mean also re quite reactive mm -hmm. but uh, i make sure that uh, she forgives and yeah. then uh, she does have that uh, quality yeah. i mean inborn quality i see I mean, so any particular advice that you give? I used to say you should oh. always for, uh, forgive. Okay, all yeah. right. Question number six. What is a midterm exam percentage? I admit that I won't be able to give you exact, but uh, it's above 80%. Above 80? 80 wow. So she stood to a second. Okay. Yeah. Question number seven. Two activities that she took part in school this year. Uh, since this year is a reading yeah. year, I think she's quite uh, engaged, uh, you know, uh, preparing uh, this uh, reading uh, okay. yeah reading so she's uh, participated yeah, in some yeah, reading in competition also, yeah. i think uh, quiz was uh, okay. one activities that uh, she has no I, I do remember that I that see. is one specific uh, activities that she has taken all right so let's go to the last question about your daughter right. favorite book 
she reads a lot mm-hmm. and uh, she she goes uh, to bed with a book okay. even to the toilet with a book oh, okay. and even <laughs> while uh, uh, getting up uh, she wakes up with a book i see so but uh, normally she reads uh, reads a book of a series like uh, i mean book written by uh, inid belton yeah, yeah, and uh-huh. uh, so rolled down okay yeah. okay these are great writers for yeah. children's books yeah. so that's good she's on yeah. the right track yeah. what book is she reading right now She's re- uh, reading one, I mean, it's a comic type uh, uh, book, but it's about Lord Buddha. Okay, yeah. all right, okay, great. Now we have the five questions. It's still about your daughter. Yeah. Rather than giving me the answers to these questions, I want you to think if your daughter knows the answer. Right. So this is still about your daughter right. again. Right. All right, so right. question number nine here. Do you think your daughter would know when the National Day of Bhutan is? Yes. Question number ten. Do you think your daughter would know... Where the National Day was held last year? I would uh, say she knows because uh, she used to watch uh, uh, the program, National okay. Day uh, program. I see. So I would say uh, she, uh, she would know. She would know, okay. Question number 11. Do you think your daughter would know the name of our first king? Yes. Okay. Yes. Question number 12. How long did the first king serve as the king? Now, do you think your daughter would know that? I think uh, here when uh, it comes to, to this question, mm-hmm. I would say it would be difficult for her. For her. Yeah. Question number 13 is, do you think your daughter would know when was the first king coronated as the first king? Yes, yes, I would believe she knows. Okay, all right. Well, uh, you've answered all the 13 questions and now it's time for your daughter to answer those. Thank you. Okay. Welcome to Do You Know Your Child. Before we start with the questions, why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Sabdiris Dema. I am 10 years old. Right now, I live in Punakha, okay. in Kurthang. I study in Kurthang Middle Secondary School. I see. My hometown is in Tongsa. Mm-hmm. Okay, have you been to Tongsa before? Yes. How often do you go to Tongsa? Not often. Not often. Do you go once a year or less than once a year? Less than once a year. But I'm glad you know where your village is. I would encourage you to visit it quite often. Topka. Something, tell me about your family. What do you like about your family? When we are doing our homework, uh-huh. we do not know the questions. Uh-huh. My, fa- my mother or father help us to do. Okay, that's something that you really love about your family. That's good. And you're lucky you have your parents there in the house where you can go ask questions. And um, you're blessed to have them around because some of the, I think a lot of the par- uh, parents send their kids um, in someone else's house or in boarding school where they don't have that facility to go and talk to your parents about um, about your math, about your zonka or English, and sometimes about your personal life too, so you're very lucky. Okay, something without any delay, let me tell you what happened before you came here. I normally have how many questions? Would you know? Ten, right? But because this is a special episode, we're celebrating the... National Day. Okay, all right. We're celebrating National Day, so I have 13 questions here. Here's your first question. What is your favorite color? Green. Why do you like green? Because I love nature. Ooh, okay. Because nature is part of our life that is helpful to Mm -hmm. us. Question number two. Where do you like to go out and eat? Kinga Hotel. Kinga Hotel. What do you like to eat there? Chicken chili. If you're not going to a restaurant and if your upper says something, why don't we go eat outside? Where do you normally want to go? Picnic. Oh, you like picnics? Where do you want to go eat? In Sonagasa. I don't know much about Punaka. So tell me, describe to me what Sonagasa looks like. Uh, Sonagasa is like every place which has lots of green uh-huh. plants and okay. there is also a garden. All right. That's a good answer. Okay. Question number three. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a dog and a rabbit. Question number four. What is your favorite TV show? In the garden, there's uh-huh. Barbie Picture. So that's your favorite show? Yes. Okay. Question number five. If you happen to get in an argument with your best friend and you've said some mean words and you come home and your dad found out about it, what 
would he say to you? Uh, usually he would say to me that you should say sorry to uh -huh. your friend and you didn't mean those words. Okay, all right. Sorry is such a sweet word. It's one of the magic words, right? You say it as much as you can and you only make the other person feel better. You don't lose anything. I think you become wiser saying sorry. Let's go to question number six. What was your midterm exam percentage? It was above 80. I'm proud of yourself that you scored some 84 percentage or 83 percentage, 82 percentage, but that's good. What are some activities that you took part as in school this year? This year we did a quiz. Oh, you did quiz, that's good. And when our teacher didn't came or gave us free time, we read. Okay, okay, that's a really important activity. So you read, you participated in a quiz. Question number eight. What are you reading right now? There's a comic book of Buddha. Okay, all right. Do you have a favorite book, by the way? I have no favorite book, mm -hmm. but I like the Buddha's comic only. Okay, all right. Let's go to question number nine. Now we're going to dive into questions related to the National Day, okay? When is the National Day of Bhutan? Uh, December 17. Okay, December 17. Great. Next question. Where was the National Day held last year? Kangdung Trashigang. Okay, all right. Have you ever been to Kangdung Trashigang? No. Oh. All right, that's fine. Question number 11. Who is the first king of Bhutan? Gongsar Ugin Wanchu. Very good. Second last question for you. How long did the first king serve as the first king of Bhutan? About 20 something. About 20? So it was from 1907 to 1926, which is 19 years. Let's go to the last question, the final question. When was the first king coronated as the first king? King Uumwatu was coronated as king in 1907. December 17th. Okay, beautiful. So you've answered all the 13 questions and uh, I am very pleased to tell you that out of the five questions related to National Day, you were able to give me correct answers to all four and a semi, very close, you, you just missed a year, so it's 19 years. All right, anyways, uh, we're finished with the 13 questions. Let's take a look at your upper score. What is your daughter's favorite color? Green. Green. Is there a particular hotel or a restaurant that she likes to go eat at? Kinga Hotel. Kinga Hotel. Which is her favorite animal? Puppies. Dog. Her favorite TV show? Bobby. Barbie. What would you tell your daughter if she makes a mistake? Forgives. Say sorry. What is her midterm exam percentage? Above 80%. Above 80 Two activities that she took part in school this year. Reading quiz. Quiz and read. What book is she reading right now? Plot Buddha. Buddha. Do you think your daughter would know when the National Day of Bhutan is? Yes. December 7th. Do you think your daughter would know where the National Day was held last year? Yes. Kangdung Trashika. Do you think your daughter would know the name of our first king? Yes. Gongsar Uvinwan. How long did the first king serve as the king? Now, do you think your daughter would know that? It would be difficult for her. No. Do you think your daughter would know when was the first king coronated as the first king? Yes. 1907, December 17. I now have the score with me. What I normally do is I take a look at the answers that don't match between the two of you. Today, we don't have any answers that don't match between the parent and the child. We have all the answers match. So what does that mean? 13 out of 13. 13. So I'm glad you have a full score, 13 out of 13. I was going to talk to you about the second last question, which was how long uh, did our first king serve as the king? He said, no, you might not know the number of years he served as the king. But you pleasantly surprised your dad, I'm sure, and me too. You said 20 years when it was 19. All right, so something with that, I congratulate both your upper and you for doing so well. Let's go to our next segment, which is commitment segment. I know parenting is um, its a very difficult task. Everybody has their own style. And you seem to have done so well with your uh, questions. But I definitely want to ask you, what do you think as a parent you could improve? We wanted to give more time to them. Okay. So that's the commitment that I, I wanted to. In fact, uh, 
uh, we landed up, uh, I mean, like uh, in our work mm. and sometimes forget them to take care and then give our time yeah. when it is really needed. Yeah. And then the, it is high time when they are young uh, that uh, they are being uh, given a good time and then a good mm. foundation. Yeah. So I wanted to give uh, my, I mean, more time to them. Giving time means you're there with the child, spending quality time with the kid. They definitely need that time. If you commit your time to your two children, I think that is one of the best things a parent could do. Thank you. For something, your appa has given me three commitments here. You just have to pick one. Avoid junk food. What is your main problem with her junk food? What do you want her to not eat? Chips. Yeah. So much oil, so much spice. And oil gives you terrible gastritis. And when you eat chips, you don't eat your food later, which is the worst thing you could do. So control on your junk. Is that okay? Okay, ma'am. Do you think you can do that? Yes, ma'am. I'm sure you can do that. You're a smart woman, and you know what's best for you, right? So it's a decision your parents are helping you with, but um, this decision has to come from you. No one can force you. This can only be done by yourself. We'll go to our next segment, which is with love, the part where we read letters. Dear is something, I'm writing this letter with fondest love and appreciation. We're so lucky to have you been uh, have been blessed with a wonderful daughter like you, and our very purpose of being in this world is fulfilled. You are coming to our life is blessed with love, peace and completeness in the family. From the very childhood, you are loving, caring, affectionate and responsible. You are doing quite well in your studies and your passion in reading will further uh, broaden your horizon. So keep your good habit of reading and be, uh, be a good human being. Sometimes we may be unfair in giving pressure to study hard, but it is all because we don't want uh, to see you becoming less than what you deserve. We know that you, are, you have potential and talent to be somebody in life. Therefore, we have relentless faith in your ability and do whatever we, uh, we can to realize your potential. In course of pursuing your dream, you might come across uh, with the challenges, but those challenges with your positivity to counter will be your strength and opportunity. I promise to support you in whatever you decide to do in life because I know it is your journey to have it. The other day you told me you are going to be a doctor or pilot. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. You and your brother are the loves of our life. Being your parent has been the greatest gift of our life. Raising you to fulfill your purpose in life is my purpose and I will cherish to do that. Adventure your life. Be brave. Be bold. Be courageous. Because you are meant to discover, to create, to learn, to experience it all. And I will love you every step of the way no matter what. I will end my letter with my feelings to you. Believe you are capable of so much more than that you think possible. Follow your passion always. Let no one tell you you can't achieve your dream. Surround yourself with friends. You encourage and inspire you. Take risks. Nothing is uncertain. Love with your heart. Remember it is muscle. It doesn't break. It just gets bruised and rushes fed with time. Always wear a smile on your face. Learn to enjoy your company. Uh, never stop learning new skill, new way of thinking. Trust to your intuition. If it feels right to do, if you do, if you have any doubt, don't. Let your light shine. Nothing ever stays the same. But one thing, my boundless love for you, with founders love, your dad, Nathan Shira. Adventure. It's one of the biggest achievements a person can make if that they, that person has explored and adventured. So your dad has asked you to do that, Imbe. Right? Now your turn. My dear father, I know that I've got no perfect word to describe you because you are the most amazing dad in the entire universe. The care that you give, the love that you provide and the way that you nurture me is so special and I hope you will continue and keep up your spirit. I don't know how to thank you but I'll try my level best in making you and mom happy. I know sometimes I and Acho make you hurt, but don't take it into heart and forgive us. We will try to be perfect human being, if not good. So from now on, I promise that I will always try to be your perfect daughter ever and 
I'm grateful to you for everything, Dad. Thank you, your loving daughter, something is to mom. Can I take a look at that letter, if that's okay? So beautifully written. I'm gonna get inspirations from you and make frames like this. This is so good. With that, we have come to the end of today's special episode. I have a couple of books um, written by some brilliant writers. Have you read these books before? Uh, no. no, right? So it's, it's, it's a keeper. So this and of course, the very popular Titan Watch. Thank you so much for coming to Do You Know Your Child. Thank you. And with this, I want to thank you, my dear, because I heard from your dad that you're the one who brought him here, right? So thank you for doing that. This uh, book, uh, I wanted to also be a part of uh, this reading year, mm -hmm. National Reading Year. Yes. So uh, a small book from me uh, uh, for the next children who is uh -huh. coming for the next show. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is really good. Yeah. Thank you. Karin Che, Beyond Words by Kiliwancho. Mr. Nathan is donating this book to Do You Know Your Child so that we can give this away for our next guest. Is that right? So whoever is our next guest is a very lucky person because in addition to the other books we have, and of course the Titan Watch, you'll also be getting this book by Kile Wanchu. Thank you so much. Uh, this is just, like you said, perfect way to celebrate um, the wrapping up of the reading year, but I'm hoping that people will continue reading throughout. Treat your child with respect. The best way to get respectful treatment from your child is to treat him respectfully. You should give your child the same courtesies you would give to anyone else. Speak to him politely. Respect his opinion. Pay attention when he's speaking to you. Treat him kindly. Try to please him when you can. Children treat others the way their parents treat them. So your relationship with your child is the foundation for her relationship with others. On that note, we have come to the end of today's special National Day episode. We'll catch up with you next week, same time and place. Till then, if you have any suggestions or feedback, email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Till then, thank you and bye-bye. Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is the winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jonkar, Paro and Thimpu. Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Choden Songkang in Mongar, Tsering Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP, ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutron. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season.